Welcome everyone back to Dragon Quest 4. We're in the middle of chapter 4 right now, and we just finished up the cave to the west. We got Ujum on our team, and now we're heading north. So basically, Ujum, or Orin in the NES version, allows you to pick the lock. So this is important for um, going into Chileon, which is the big castle in the northeast. But um, if you played this game before, you know that you can't really do much there right now. Your real destination is to the northwest, to the mines of the Contempto. So you gotta get the gunpowder keg, so you can scare the Chancellor and follow him, and find out what Ballsack is. So, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight north, because there's a town right there. Basically, when I get there, I'm going to see what I can buy, and then I'm gonna raise a few levels, because Mind of the Kento are pretty, pretty rough, so I want to be around level 7 when I go in there. So we're going to go into this town real quick, stock up, see if I can uh, raise a few levels. Alright, so these slimes are about to make a king slime, which is uh, pretty rough. They, uh, they hit hard, so I might just have uh, a sister's defense. Let Ujum take care of him. I don't really know what snub is. Um, uh, what is it? Maybe Eerie Mist? Uh, Eerie Fog? Something like that. I don't think you can get hit by spells. Translations are getting rough. Okay, level up. Oh, that's good actually. Alright, they both leveled up, so I just want to get to level 7. So, let's go into town. Um, Alright, so at this point, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to go outside and raise a few levels, then we'll go explore the town a bit. Alright, we're back, and I got to level 7 with two girls, and I bought a feather cap for Mina, and a feather cap for Coke. For Naya, so they can survive. Things will get too rough down there. Okay, so we're gonna leave it. Plus, I mean, it's gonna get a new weapon soon. So we're just gonna head on to the mines. So, the mines aren't too long at this point. We come back to them later on. Um, but, they're a little bit complicated. You wanna get lost. So, alright, here we got a king slime. We fought one before, maybe not. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna defend the boost too and let Luigi take care. So, snub doesn't really matter. Pretty sure he just blocks magic. Alright, what's there? I think we got like 100 HP. 110 HP, maybe. 150 HP, maybe. Come on, King Slime. Boom. That's easy. Ujum and your team makes everything very easy. Obviously. Alright. Let's go into the Tempto. Let's go over here. There's a priest there. And there's a thing, but we'll be fine. Got those medicinal herbs to back it up just in case. Alright, so this has some acorns. Seed of magic. These are the acorns of magic. Alright. Do you want to get this chest up here? It is cards, arrow cards, I think. Very useful. And Sizz with her, actually. Level 8 is Sizz, which helps in this area. It's uh, the old fireball. Ah, oh, sweet. So so Don't die. Don't die, man. Don't pull it. Alright. Not a big fan of running, but put me, half my team to sleep. No oh, other choice. Okay. Let's go up here, get this. Alright, this is a pretty good weapon for Nina. Basically, what it does is it'll have a random attack it'll do um, while you're in battle. It'll do. It's sort of like Metronome with Pokemon, but it's only got like five things. Well, one of the things is wipe out your entire team. I'm pretty sure it's rare, but it can happen. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. We'll go to the right. I think this is it. 
Yep, that's it. Barricade, okay. That's all we have to do here. We come back here way later in the game. The king of evil is down there. Not so much the king, just kind of like this demon. Alright, so let's just head out of here. Man, it's so much faster in this version than the NES version. I remember in the NES version this was an especially difficult area. But, I think something with the graphics in this game just makes it go by quicker. Alright, so we're done here. Uh, I don't think I have a wing. Do I? Nope. Alright, let's just head back. So we're gonna head back, press to the end, and we're gonna take down Keleon. Not really Keleon. I'm just gonna take down Balsa. We'll use Keleon's pawn. We just kill everybody up in here. Alright, I'm going to go to the end real quick. I want to make sure I'm at my top. This is a pretty hard boss. Rather, you just kind of get yeah, lucky. Hopefully Ujin doesn't get hit too much. This is out the damage all the other two deep end. Okay, so let's rest. So now, I'm going to walk you through what my lineup looks like. I actually raised to level 10, not 8. So we're all set to go for this next battle. Uh, I was getting blocked at level 8, so now I'm 10, and I bought the Holy Lance, as you can see, because, unlike in the NES version, if uh, you don't kill him in time, he'll just full heal, and you'll have to pretty much start the battle all over again, you get trapped, which wasn't the case in the old one, so, pretty good example of the game uh, not representing most types of remakes, where they just get so much easier. This game is actually on par with the difficulty of Dragon Warrior 4 for the NES. Some of the later dungeons are extremely uh, difficult in the NES version, and they aren't as hard here. But parts like this are definitely hard, if not harder, than the NES version. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you saw, I just used the gunpowder gag in that little corridor while I was talking. And you just gotta stalk the Chancellor now until you wind up at this wall. When you examine it, you go inside. Here is your arch nemesis, Ball Sack. Alright, let's go. I've taken you out, you piece of crap. Your duty. Your duty. Alright. So the general game plan is to go aggressive in the beginning while Maya is gonna sap. Gonna attack. That. And we're just gonna go crazy on him. You do need to watch your HP a lot. If you drop with the team, just get so much more difficult. Alright. So I'm just gonna have Mina heal like crazy, and when she gets the opening, then I'll have her attack. And I'm forgetting the most important thing. You need to use this hero silence on him as soon as you can. That's my fault. Use it right away. So he doesn't start, uh. Cast the spells on you. So it'll run out soon. Okay. So as you can see, I'm defending the unit. Because I don't want her to die and I'll have to use a herb. It's not gonna work. Good. Alright, so it's a good time to attack. Just make sure you watch the dialogue. It's especially important to see when the sap goes away and when the, uh, the fizzle runs out, which is the sphere of silence. Yeah. Alright, so that did 27 damage, and I got 22, so I'm going to do the same thing to the herbs and defense. would have been dead if I didn't keep playing. It's really important, especially at lower level, to defend a lot. That's part of your strategy, so you don't die. Okay. Doing well. Just keep on pushing. Okay. No. I need to deal with Ujum. The kind of thing to have you do. This is just wore off. Boom! That's it. All right. I don't know why they talk like they're French. What the f shiz is this? Helion, Marcus de Leon. All right, fine. We'll take you down too. You intimidate me with your eight limbs, and your beefy mustache. Actually, just kidding. You will have your day up, so 
just want the losing style, obviously. Get right. Boom. Alright. So we're dead. Game over. Just kidding. The captain's now. Oh, what's up, bro? Ah, uh, the king. The real Marquis. You can't defeat him because you're a whole piece of duty. Alright, so he wants his glory home. And we're gonna break it. I'm pretty sure something's here. Yeah! See you Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so he just gave us a boarding pass. Or no, rather. He just got the boarding pass. Bingo! So now we just try to leave. And I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's see. Oh no, there's a tragic scene coming up. How did you get out of here? Ujum is gonna be the martyr for us. Just takes on the army by himself. See you, buddy. Alright, actually, if you go back inside, you can talk to him. It's okay, bro. See you in the afterlife. Alright, so now the goal is to just go north. To have a on. And go to the ship. Pretty sure it's over here. Go inside. Talk to the Capitan. Yeah, chill, brother. And, uh, wrapping up chapter 4 right now. We just gotta talk to the captain. In that place. What rock am I doing out of the door? Durr. Go. Oh, the gnome captain. No, shut up. Believe what I say, at least. That was me, bro. Could you go downstairs? Maybe go take a nap? Oh, that's it. Ah, bad. Sorry, you gotta talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. Who cares about your father? What's up, brother? Are you trying to lure me into your hammock room? Why? Around my boat, cause I need to go to Endor. Ooh, ooh. Uh, do you think I get? Maybe not. Never wait, it's not a regret. Let's blow this joint. Alright, so we're on route to Endor. And this, my friends, is where the fun begins. Oh yeah! Room ship. Getting tipsy. Bingo! And we're in Endor, and that is the end of Chapter 4. So next time we're going to start chapter 5, the beginning of the hero. This is the best chapter, long chapter, by far, probably as long as the first four chapters together. See you next time!